This is the brand new Greenline Neo range. And what's most interesting about it is the variety of different models on offer. So for starters, there are three different body styles. We've got the enclosed coupe on the end, there is the hard top in the middle, and then there's the open, which can either be completely open or with the T-top as shown here. Then there's the engine options. So they're all outboard powered, but you can either have the normal petrol Verados, in this case a pair of 200s, or electric torpedo motors. Uh, with the electric torpedoes, it'll only do around 15 knots maximum, but for use in the lakes, it's a very clean, very environmentally friendly option. But there's also a whole different bathing platform. So this is the standard platform with the engines tucked in between. And then this is the extended platform that wraps right around the engines so that you can actually have a proper bathing platform despite the outboard power. So taking a little look on board, it's really an enormous sports boat. It's 36 foot long and has this fabulous large cockpit. Nice underlit neon, uh, sorry, not nice neon, nice underlit LED. Got a big folding table and then a rather funky floating galley. So it's based in the middle of the cockpit, which means you can move all around it. And then on this open version, it has a three-person helm, a nice low windscreen, and then a walk-around section up to the bow. And again, there are two different bow options. So this is the open bow rider version. But if you look across there, there is also a coupe with a fully enclosed bow and a more generous cabin underneath it. But that gives you an idea of how it looks in the coupe with the open hard top and the open boat with just a T-top overhead. Because of that bow area and the walk around deck, the cabin is relatively small. It's open plan with a classic V-shaped dinette and a proper bathroom. There's just the one cabin and clearly the dinette makes up into a double bed with an infill. So it's really a day boat but you can overnight a weekend on it if you need to. So this is the coupe version of the Greenline Neo. Again, same outboard engines, same full flat seat but this time it's got a proper set of glass doors, so you've got a fully enclosed wheelhouse, a different layout, you've got seating around the table, it does join up with the cockpit, and now the galley is all fitted out as an indoor galley with wood veneer rather than a weatherproof outdoor island galley. And this time, because of that enclosed deck up front, there is still a walk around deck, but it's no longer seating up there, it's just a big sun pad, which means that the cabin underneath it is substantially larger and can be made up into a proper double berth. So three different body styles, two different four deck layouts, two different engine options, two different platform options. It all adds up to an extremely versatile boat and with prices starting from just 142,000 euros ex-tax, it's an awful lot of boat for the money.